Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Wide Gaming. How's everybody doing? So we are back again today with another Survive the Nights Basics video. And today what we're going to be doing is going over your stats and how to keep yourself nice and healthy. Now, there are a few main stats to take into consideration. Seven in total. The most important one is obviously your health. Now, your health is the health stat which shows how healthy you are. <laughs> If and when it hits zero, you die. Now, that's that's a good description. You know, that's 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 pretty simple. Now, you can heal this, obviously, with first aid kits. We've gone over healing before in the last video, so we're not going to go into it today. And then your calories, your hydration, your stamina, your sickness, your mental health, and your overall health. Now, your overall health combines all your stats, and when this is at 10, you are at your max health. You will start the game with 100 health. Now, you've got to keep all these stats nice and full to increase your overall health. Now, if you've got your calories over the uh, the set amount, when you start, it'll be a 1,000. If you're over the set amount, when it becomes morning, providing your sickness and your mental health is both at zero, you will go up an overall health point. Now, for each point, you get 10 health and 10 carry capacity. So that takes your health to 200 and also that will bring your carry capacity up to 200 alongside your stamina so it's really beneficial for you to keep everything nice and topped up now if these stats drop or you have low sickness or you have low mental health well high sickness and low mental health you will not increase your overall health and your health could drop now if you've reached everything and your calories aren't the right level but everything else is zero. Your health will not drop, but you will stay the same. If you keep your calorie input nice and high, so at the recommended amount, which there is 4,600 for me because I am currently on level 9 for the overall health. If that's of over 4,600, then I will go up to overall health 10. Now, it's very beneficial for you to get that. Obviously, for your stats... Just keeping them nice and high is, is a bonus in the game, really. And someone shoots you, you're not going to die instantly with 200 health. And also your carry weight. The more weight you can carry in this game, the better off you're going to be. For me personally, carrying everything, my usual kit with the weapons and a set of car parts for when I'm finding a car, uh, I sit at around 100. I can push that down to about 80 if I really want, if I'm only taking out the weapons that I need. But I like to just keep the extra stuff on me, just in case. So calories. Calorie intake is an important part of your daily routine. If you don't eat for a few hours, you won't die, but you will become sluggish. And in time, this will result in death. So make sure your calories are nice and high. Obviously, you can do that with food. My best advice would be either MREs or crafting yourself a stew. Your hydration is very simple. Drinking is an important part of your daily routine. Failure to keep the hydration stat above the minimum will result in loss of health and death will be imminent. So your stamina, when you start, will be at 100. As you can see, because I'm sprinting, mine is slowly dropping down. Now, there are a few ways you can bring this back up very quickly. You can drink energy drinks, which will bring it up by 25 or 50, depending on the energy drink you're drinking. And then you could just stop sprinting. It will come up very slowly. Obviously, Melee will bring it back down. As you can see there where you're fatigued, it takes a lot longer to actually punch, hit, or do anything like that. But if you stand still, it jumps up really, really quick. So when your stamina's low, best thing is just to stop. I mean, I personally wouldn't go sprinting everywhere, because if you come into a group of zombies and you need to sprint away and you haven't got that stamina, there's no chance of you being able to stand still. So bear that in mind when you're running and jumping around that you don't know what's around that corner. It could be a lot of zombies waiting for you. So my mental state is low and I'm starting to feel unhappy. Now, it goes down by one point by every person you kill. And somebody's just switched it to night time. <laughs> by every person you kill. Uh, that basically makes things just look a little bit funny. And now the longer it takes, the worse it will get. That so th Sorry, the further down you go, the worse it will get. As you can see there, I'm all blurry. Now, if we go down even further, it'll get much worse. So we're now at minus four. <clears throat> so things get even worse. They go all funny colors. 
Now, I'm not losing any health, but not yet. So then when we go even further down, we're now at minus six. Your mental state is bad. You're feeling paranoid and nervous. We can still move around. We can still do everything. But as you can see, the screen's a bit wobbly. Everything looks... You look a little bit drunk. It comes in and out. So let's go down another level to eight. Now, eight is, is pretty damn high. Warning, your mental state is making you consider suicide. It's a pretty unique thing about this game. Now, look at the blurriness there. That's bad. Which is obviously going to be real hard. Up against zombies is not too bad. But when you're trying to kill some players or, or you're in a firefight with a player, that's going to make things a lot more difficult. So let's go down two more to ten. Boom! Suicide. Killing other players will lower your mental state. Eating cooked foods and standing near fires will increase your mental state. So making yourself a nice bang-up meal is pretty much the root of everything in this game. If you can make yourself something good to eat, you keep yourself nice, hydrated, full of food, you will increase your lifespan very quickly, really. The best way to do it is through stews. We're going to go into that in a separate video, so calories and all that kind of things. And then there we go. Once again, we are back down to normal health because we've died. Everything is much lower. We can only carry 100. It's not good. It's really not good. So the main gist of this video is pretty simple. Keep everything at its maximum attributes. Keep your health high, your calories high, your hydration high, your stamina high, your sickness at zero, and your mental health at zero. And everything will come together nicely. Other than that, really, you just got to be careful. Try not to shoot too many players. If you go around shooting players in the face, obviously you're going to... Your mental health is going to degrade. And then, once again, like you just saw, you're going to end up offing yourself. Which is uh, it's never good because you lose all your shit and then you've got to start again. But, ladies and gentlemen, I know this has been a, a, a pretty strange one, just staring at the screen. But, I hope it has helped. Let me know if there's anything that you guys need help with. Then uh, I will get on that for the STM Basics. But thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next week with some more Survive the Nights. Peace.